Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share TCS LQT Ninja interview experience of Rahul. He is a BTEC CSE 2021 batch and he has shared his technical round, technical plus HR round with me. So I'm going to share with you guys. So it will be helpful for you if you are preparing for the TCS uh, NQT Ninja interview. So as I have already told, there were three panelists, one HR, one TR, one MR. After that, uh, this is my suggestion in every video I'm giving you my suggestion because I have, this is the conclusion of uh, the interviewer, uh, the interview, the interview experience, whoever shared with me, this is the conclusion of all the interview. You should have a good understanding on your project. You should have a good understanding on one of the language or prepare your introduction well. Now the next thing, what was his technical round, how it was going, uh, how it went. The, uh, so started with the introduction, then about his certification, then the programming language, which you preferred, the interviewer asked. Uh, and he said it's Java and then the questions were from Java, oops concept, static and non-static keyword, interface, abstract class, package, amplet, method overloading, method overriding. So these were all questions from the Java. Means basically whichever programming language you are good in, the questions will be coming from your preferred language. So these were the questions coming from his preferred language that is Java. Now the interviewer asked questions on data structures, that is stacks, linked list, uh, post, post, post fix, trees. The questions were from these uh, data structures. And he asked to implement the program of linked list. So uh, this is the one question, then program to check whether a given character is vowel or not. So basically for an CS student, it is, uh, it will be, I'll be highly recommend you to at least go through uh, the data structure at least some basic topic or basic knowledge because from CSE student yes they are expecting a little more than a non CS student so now these were all about the technical uh, technical round now yeah, here here we have the HR plus managerial questions now what are the HR plus managerial questions where would you see yourself in five years are you comfortable with any technology what if you don't assign if you don't assign to your uh, desired technology what did you do in lockdown are you willing to relocate are you okay with shift or other languages do you know uh, other than java these were the questions uh, from hr or managerial people so basically you now you have a good understanding of how a non ca student and the ca student how the interviewer are asking questions uh, to students so hope you guys like this video if you like this video please press thumbs up thumbs up if uh, this video was uh, helpful to you and thank you for watching